Hey, can I talk to you for a second? I heard you're getting married. Is it true? Yes, it's true. I see. Is it with Andrew? Yeah. I knew it. You've been dating since college. What about it? Well, this is kind of hard to say. What? What's wrong? Can you cancel the marriage? I'm sorry. What? Why? You texted me out of nowhere, and what the hell is that? Because I want to marry him. Wait, um, what do you mean? You mean you liked him too? I'm surprised. Not like I like him. I mean, we are in love with each other. In love with each other. The Andrew is my boyfriend and my fiance. So what? We didn't need a name for a relationship. Because we love each other, you know. Gabrielle, what are you talking about? I don't understand. You're a peaceful girl, so you probably haven't noticed, but we've been together since college. It's a little too late to tell you this, but you were dating with Andrew. Wait, but I've been with him since college too. In easy words, he was cheating on you. Surprising, huh? Andrew, he was. You're kidding, right? Don't lie to me. There's no way I would say something like this if it was a lie or a joke. I have plenty of proof. We once went on a trip without telling you. He came to my house after your date, and we even spent a night together after seeing you. No way, that's not possible. Andrew would never do such a thing. Believe it or not, it's true. Isn't that frustrating? Isn't it sad? This can't be. You haven't married him yet, right? Then can you give him to me? I think it's better to keep it as a flesh wound. I don't really care if I'm being cheated. Wait a minute. I'm really confused. I'll talk it over with him. That's fine. But you have to come to a decision as soon as possible. I've been putting up with you being the second girlfriend, so at least give him to me in the end. That day we discussed it at his parents' house. His parents were both looking awkward, but he was like, "Oh, you found out," and being happy-go-lucky guy. I realized that we were over. There was no way I could be happy if I married someone like this. In the end, we called off the engagement. A few months later, I heard that he and Gabrielle got married. Hey there, how are you doing? I hope you're happy. Oops, of course you're not. Why not? I'm fine. Oh well, that's good. I have my first child. It's the happiest thing in the world to have a child from someone you love. You can congratulate me by giving me money. Congratulations, but isn't it too brazen to steal your fiance and then beg for a gift of money to celebrate? I've never heard of that case before. Are you still holding on to the past? That was a long time ago. Forget about it. Hey, it's only been a year. I don't think it was that long ago. So what about you? Me. A woman who lost her fiance all alone and lonely. Are you suffering? Is it painful? Oh God! I was so happy that I accidentally told you my updates. Forgive me. Thank you for your concern. I'm super fine. Oh my! Don't pretend to be. If you're lonely, just tell me you're lonely. I'll let you take care of my baby if you want. He's really cute. No, thank you. You're just being stubborn, even though you miss him. But after a year, you've at least got a boyfriend, right? I do have. What's he like? Well, I can imagine without asking. I bet he's not that good. I mean, he's not my boyfriend. We're married. Huh? Married? Yeah. Wait. Did the shock of breaking off the engagement make you crazy? You didn't have to decide so quickly. I'm starting to feel sorry for you. I wasn't in a rush to make a decision, but 
My boss heard about the broken engagement and suggested a blind date, and things went on very quickly from there. I'm glad I met someone nice. Your boss introduced you a guy? What kind of nasty, bald, fat old man did he introduce you to? He's a nice guy around the same age as me. Huh? Don't tell me easy lies. You don't have to hide it just because you're embarrassed. A blind date set up by boss at work is just a bald, fat old man who has no one to get him, right? He's not bald and he's not fat. Our ages are close too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say love is blind, right? That's how you see him, huh? I'm glad you're happy. To me, you look like a poor girl who got married by compromising. Mind your own business. Leave me alone. No matter how many months have passed, she still has the same personality. I don't want to have anything to do with people like this as much as possible. But just when I was thinking like that, I got unwittingly involved again. There was another text. Hey, you married someone from my husband's company? Oh yeah, right. And the trading company? Yeah, that's right. What about it? Could it be the head of HR? Nah, of course not. But when my husband was saying something bad about you at work, the HR manager came out and said, What's wrong with my wife, so... The manager got it wrong, huh? He's right. He's right? He was telling the truth. My husband is the HR manager at N Trading Company. Seriously? Seriously, he's the human resources manager of N Trading Company? That's what I said. So what about it? But you! You were introduced to bald fat man by your boss! Why would he be the head of HR? That's just your own interpretation. I told you I married a nice guy around the same age as me. No one said a bald fat man. But that's just your fantasy. How can you be so sure? Don't assume that it was a fantasy. Is it true? Are you serious? Did you really marry the head of HR? That elite nice looking guy? I don't know much about the company, but I fell in love at first sight, so I do think he's cool. You know what I'm talking about. You should tell me that kind of thing first. What? About what? That you married the head of HR. Thanks to you, you embarrassed me. Huh? What kind of embarrassment? Why are you embarrassed? You know, this and that. This and that? I don't understand. There are some circumstances here, too. Oh, the rumor you were saying to your neighbors? My neighbors? What was it? My husband's ex-wife was ugly and poor. A woman with no common sense and no education because she grew up with a single parent, right? That's a terrible thing to say. How did you know? I heard. You've been spreading a very bad rumor, haven't you? Oh no, wait! This is misunderstanding. What am I misunderstanding? You said so, didn't you? That's what I heard. Um, what can I say? This is... This is... I'm sorry, it's some kind of mistake, so please don't tell the manager. I don't ever want him to know. That's impossible. Because my husband told me this rumor. He knew about it? Yes. When he went to his co-worker's house, he heard the rumor from his wife. He corrected her by saying that I'm a beautiful, well-educated wife and my parents are educators. That's a little embarrassing for me, you know. As you can see, my husband is very sweet. You are absolutely right. That's the head of HR. That's the manager's wife. Wow, you change your mind really easily. Unbelievable. You can trust me. You never know who's listening, so watch out for your words. You're right. You are indeed the manager's wife. Hey, enough. You're creepy. Will you stop talking like that? I can't. By the way, I have a favor. What? Could you raise my husband's salary or promote him? I don't know anything about his work. It's none of my business. That's not true. The HR manager is a really nice person. I'm sure he'll listen to his wife's suggestion, since you're a beautiful woman. 
Why don't you support him? It's your job to handle the family finances, isn't it? I am supporting him, but... Lately, his salary has gone down. Oh, I heard he took a pay cut. That must be tough, isn't it? What? He told you? No way. My husband wouldn't tell me personal information like that. I heard from your husband. My husband? What did he tell you? He got a pay cut for having an affair with a receptionist at work. He asked me for help. That's not what I can help with, right? Huh? He had an affair with the receptionist? Having an affair at work is a bad idea. I was speechless when I heard about it. Having an affair with the receptionist? What's that? I didn't hear anything about it. Oh, you didn't? You didn't know? I shouldn't have said this. I'm sorry. I can't believe it. You mean he was cheating on me? I think that's what it means. I don't think it's anything to be surprised about. I'm surprised. There's no way he cheated on me. Damn. Is that something you can say, even though you have been cheating on me for years? From my point of view, you got what you deserved. I was young back then. What goes around comes around. Oh no, this can't be. Anyway, I think you and your husband should talk together. Once again, let me tell you first. There's nothing I can do about it. Now, if you'll excuse me. Even though she stole my ex-husband, they seem to have a bad relationship. I have mixed feelings about it. Well, it's nothing to do with me now. And yet, she keeps trying to drag me into her mess. I just want her to get me out of her head. We're getting divorced. I see. And I have a favor. A favor? I was wondering if your husband could hire me. I'm looking for a job. Like I told you before, I am not involved in my husband's business. Don't say like that. I am in trouble because my husband kicked me out. I have no money and nowhere to go. Please, help me. He kicked you out? Why? He's the one to be blamed, right? Um, he found out about my affair too. Huh? You guys are just like each other, aren't you? Don't say we're the same, we're different. You guys are exactly the same. Oh no, please, I have no other choice but to beg you. I'm sorry about the past, I was wrong. So please help me. Let me tell you again, it's none of my business and there's nothing I can do about it. I will not interfere in any way with my husband's business. You'll have to look elsewhere. Well then. Don't say that. Please, 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 please help me. God, please. Mrs. Kate, please. After that, she couldn't give up on divorcing him, so she went to his company and had a fight involving the receptionist with whom he was having an affair. In the end, all three of them were taken away by the police. It's okay that they're just like each other, but I hope they don't cause trouble for others. How many times do I have to tell you, let's just get divorced? Same to you. Then, why don't you just submit the documents, and we can get divorced right away. How long are you making me wait? I'd like to, but I need things to do first. That's why I can't do it right now. Things to do? Are you talking about money? Yes. I'm not going to change the terms I gave you. I'll have all the joint savings. I won't accept anything else. That's exactly what I am not going to accept. You're saying you cheated on me. You won't pay me anything, but rather give you the savings and then get divorced? Yes. Can you think of something else? How convenient is that? Do you really think that's going to work? Of course it does. If it doesn't work, I'm in trouble. I won't give up on it. Me neither. Why should I give up? Why? It's not like you're suffering for money, so why not? The more you have, the better it is. I'm in more trouble than you are, so you can give it up. That way we can get an amicable divorce. You cheated on me and you want me to forgive you for free? Isn't that too convenient? Absolutely not. You have to take responsibility. Why would you do that? I told you I was sorry about the affair. 
You really are a narrow-minded woman. It's not about I'm broad-minded or narrow-minded. I don't remember you apologizing to me. It was your fault for cheating in the first place, so you'd better make amends. Otherwise, I can't divorce you. Don't be stubborn. Anyway, I won't accept it. My husband never came home after that. Perhaps he is staying with someone he is having an affair with. I don't care, but... We have not been able to make any progress in our talks. He ignores my messages and refuses to answer my calls. This is too much trouble, so I've decided to leave it alone for a while. Hey, how long are you going to make me wait? The document. I haven't filled it out yet. It's been a while. Have you stopped being a spoiled brat? My girlfriend keeps telling me to get divorced. Please submit the paper. Of course, I will. After we're done talking. That's enough. I'll file it on my own. Don't complain afterwards, okay? Without permission? Forging documents? That's a big problem. Because I don't have a choice. You won't submit it. Well, I've told the lawyer not to accept it yet, so even if you forged it, it won't be accepted. You. Why have you done that? Isn't it obvious? Because I don't want us to get divorced without accepting your terms. Did you really think I'd do such a thing? You don't trust me that much? But you were about to do that a few minutes ago. Have you forgotten? Then just go ahead and write it down. How many times do I have to tell you that we need to talk first? What do you want to discuss? I don't have anything to discuss with you. About how you two can make amends. What's your terms? It's not a big deal. We'll split our joint savings exactly in half. Oh, ask your girlfriend how she's going to take her responsibility. I think this is pretty reasonable, isn't it? I need money. We're gonna have a baby. Right. Then we need to talk about it even more. You have to follow the rules of society so that you can be a respectable dad to your child. I mean, that's not... We have to raise a kid. Anyway, we need money. So I can't accept those terms. Please, please reconsider. I can't. It's none of my business. I'm not asking a lot. If you can't split it right now, then you can pay me back later. Look, we're getting divorced someday anyway. That's right. The sooner the better. How about we get divorced first and then talk about it? Nope. Are you crazy? Why am I crazy? I don't want you to run away. Running away? There's no way I'm running away. I doubt it. You lied to me and cheated on me. I can't trust you. There is a possibility of you doing it. But it's better to get divorced soon. I don't have to get divorced right away and I don't need money right now, okay? If you don't accept it, we can go to the court. I don't mind. To the court? You. No other choice since we don't agree, right? It's just a difference between taking the case to trial after we live separately or taking it to mediation and then to trial. But that's... It's going to take a long time to settle either way. I wonder how old your child will be when we get divorced. You. You knew everything and you're doing this? You dirty bitch. What? You're doing this knowing we'll be in trouble. If we don't get divorced, I'll be in trouble because of the child's family registration. So you thought if we string this out, I'll agree to your terms. That's why you're doing this. What are you talking about? Will you stop making accusations? I'm not making any unreasonable demands. You need to understand that you're the one who's making them. Damn, I won't forgive you. It was a few days later. Suddenly, I got a call from the landlord. Apparently, my husband's girlfriend was making a mess in front of the apartment. I called the police right away and had them take her away. Why aren't you at home? You called the cops? How are you going to take responsibility if something happens to her? She has a baby. Why don't you tell her that? It's none of my business. She's the one to take the responsibility if something happens. If you'd let her in the house, there wouldn't have been any problem. Can you at least be considerate? Unfortunately, I don't live in that place anymore. What? You moved out? Yes, I did. Why would I live in that house? What are you moving out without permission? That room was originally under my name. 
Besides, your stuff is gone now that you took it out, right? Even so, I live there too. Yes, you did. The rent was so expensive. You were having an affair with someone and didn't spend any money to our living expense, so I had a hard time making ends meet. If you have a problem with me and want me to keep living in that house, can you pay me all the living expenses you haven't paid? Can I make a formal demand? That's a little... Then don't complain. Oh yes, I find a good lawyer. So let's have a proper meeting soon. I'm sure you'll hear from my lawyer soon. Lawyer, you, hey, please, let's get divorced. We will. As long as you take full responsibility. That's what I've been saying all along. We're going to have a baby. We have to hurry up. Otherwise, we can't make a living. I'll divorce you today if we finish talking. How can we finish talking within today? I'm in a hurry. So what? That's what you get for not following the order, isn't it? None of my business. Please. We're not getting anywhere. Call me when you're ready to accept the terms. Your feelings haven't changed? Nope. Okay, I'll accept her terms. I'll split the savings 50-50 and I'll make her take some kind of responsibility. So please divorce me, is that okay? Okay, and the apology? Huh? Apology for cheating on me. You haven't apologized to me once yet, have you? I've been waiting. I'm sorry. I don't know why it's taking so long for this. It's because you're stubborn. Which one of us is stubborn? You cheated on me. You wouldn't give up your savings. You've been pestering me all day. Do you have any right to say that? I'm sorry. I just wanted to save some money. But from now on, I'll make it right. I'll make amends. So that my unborn child won't be ashamed of myself. Please do so. So please, divorce me, please. Understood. Fiona, thank you. I'm really sorry. After that, we talked it over with a lawyer and put into writing. So far, the money in the joint saving has been transferred to my account every month. I've told him that I won't forgive him if he delays even once, so I think he'll be okay. Now I'm going to find someone who will be happy with me this time. Aaron, did you look at the pictures? They decided to name her Abby. I saw. She's so cute. I want to see her in person already. I think you'll be able to see her once my little sister gets discharged. It's not good for people to visit the hospital right now because of the pandemic. I guess you're right. I'm glad she was born without any troubles, though. Hopefully your sister Anne gets better soon, too. Honestly, she seemed like she was struggling throughout the pregnancy. And she was hospitalized a couple of times during it, too. Do you think she's in better shape now that she gave birth? I'm not sure. I'm still worried, so I'm going to continue going to Anne's house when she gets back. No, it sounds like a good idea. She needs to take care of the baby too, so I'm sure Anne will be grateful you're there to help her. But if I keep going to Anne's house, I'll start slacking off on the chores at our house. Don't worry about that, I can help with the chores too. I'm sorry, Aaron, but thank you. Anne said she really appreciates you too. I didn't do anything at all. You were the one who worked hard this entire time, Olivia. I mean, and too, of course. I'm so glad you're such a nice guy, Aaron. I feel like other husbands would get angry if their wife was out of the house so much. Well, I understand the situation you guys are in. Your parents live far away, so you're the only one that Anne can depend on. I mean, I do miss you sometimes. I'll try to stay home as much as I can from now on. I want to cook delicious meals for you, too. Mmm, yes, please. I mean, it'll depend on Anne's physical state, too. Oh, is her husband busy? I wonder if he's going to take paternity leave. I don't think you'll be allowed to take paternity leave. I know dads have been allowed to take leave recently, but it's still hard in some workplaces, you know? Yeah, you're right. Even if I tried to get paternity leave, I think maximum I'll get is one week. Oh, but if we have a kid, I'll make sure to help out with raising him or her. I'll do everything I can to make sure your pregnancy goes smoothly, too. <laughs> Thank you. Don't you feel like we should have our own kid sometime soon? You start wanting one as soon as you see a baby, right? But we can't force something like this. Let's just hope a blessing comes our way soon. <laughs> yep, everyone has their own time with things like this. But I also want to enjoy traveling, just you and I. I agree. Oh, 
For our next anniversary, I'm requesting a trip abroad. <laughs> huh? Didn't you say you wanted to go to Florida a while ago? Mm, yeah, but if it's within the country, I feel like we can easily go there if we tried. Plus, if we have a kid, we won't be able to travel far for a couple of years. Oh, I guess you're right. I'll think about the vacation abroad. Yay! Okay, good luck and work. I'll work hard. Thanks. Olivia, I got your text messages. You're not going to be home again starting today? Yeah. My sister was crying because she can't handle taking care of the baby on her own. She's feeling emotionally unstable right now. I think I'm going to sleep over at her place for a while to take care of her. Her husband's away on a trip, too. I see. I'd also worry about leaving Anne alone in that situation. I understand. I'll take care of the household chores. Thank you. I'm planning to stay over for at least a week. What? A week? You're not going to come home at all during the week? Um, I can't say for sure until I see how my sister's doing. Her husband's not coming home until next month. Next month? So two more weeks then? Yeah, so I'm planning to stay over for at least a week. Of course I'll try to come home when I get the chance to. Okay, but I'm going to be super lonely this week. Don't worry, I'll text you. <laughs> By the way, there was a withdrawal from our bank account this evening. What are you going to use $1,000 for? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention it to you. I'm going to need it while staying at my sister's place. I know it's a lot of money, but I wanted to have the cash just in case something happens. You're only there for a week, right? $1,000 is a lot of money. Do you need that much? It's just for emergencies. Of course, I'll put back whatever's left after I come home. Should I have not done that? I'm not angry, but suddenly pulling out a thousand dollars did surprise me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But my sister's having trouble with her financial situation too. I might end up spending quite the amount of money. But she didn't seem like she was struggling last time I saw her. I mean, her husband's hobby is golfing. Didn't Anne say that there was a luxury brand that she liked too? You can't really tell what they're struggling with on the inside. Her husband's golfing equipment was all gifted to him by my father. And my sister's brand name items are all secondhand. I see. They have to provide for their kid now that she gave birth, too. I want to do what I can for them, but it's not like we're super wealthy either. I know. I'll try not to spend too much. Yes, please. I mean, it's okay to help out as much as you can right now. I want her to not have to think about money, at least for the time being. I'm glad you said that. I'm sorry for causing so much trouble since my sister got pregnant. Don't worry about it. She's family after all. Tell Anne I said hi then. Okay, I'm going to do my best to help her. Olivia, where are you right now? I'm at my sister's house. What's wrong? At her house. Yeah, I have to take care of Abby and help her with chores around the house. It's so hard. We even have to order our groceries online. I see. Oh, by the way, Aaron, I was going to message you just now, too. My sister's condition after giving birth isn't that great. Huh? I think I'm going to stay over at her house a little longer. I'm still worried about her, so I want to be there for her. For another two to three days. Is that okay? Um, Olivia, your sister is eating at a hotel buffet right now. Tell me the truth. Where are you? What? Like I just said, she's at a hotel eating lunch near my workplace. I said hi to her and she said she made her husband take care of Abby while she takes a break. What are you doing? Where are you? What? My little sister's at your workplace? That's what I just said. Can you explain everything? I asked her about her pregnancy, but she said you never stayed over at her house. Where were you this entire time? I'm sorry. You better come home before I get off to work. I can't do that. Why not? I've actually been into solo trips recently. And I'm on a solo trip right now. A solo trip? Why didn't you say anything about it? Because it costs a lot of money. I thought you'd be angry. I see. Got it. When can you come home then? You're not going to get mad? There's no point in getting angry now. We can talk after you come home. I'm really sorry. I'll explain everything properly. I think I can come home by tomorrow morning. Okay. Tomorrow morning, then. 
Got it. I'm home safe. Aaron, I'm home. Where are you right now? You're off from work today, right? How can you pretend like everything is normal? So you're mad that I went on a trip alone? But you didn't go alone, did you? You went with another guy, right? What are you saying? Stop joking around. I'm wishing it was all a joke, too. But I saw the two of you getting off the airplane together. What? I was at the airport. After I messaged you a few days ago, I tracked your credit card spendings on my laptop. I saw you use your credit card in Miami. So I was keeping my eye on the flights that were landing this morning. You're lying. I didn't want to think this was true either. But after thinking it over properly, everything sounded off. You started staying nights away from the house since Anne got pregnant. You even withdrew a thousand dollars. I thought this was all for your little sister, but it was all a lie. You said you used it to go on a solo trip, but that didn't make sense to me. It's not like that. What's not like that? It's all a misunderstanding. I don't even know the man I got off the airplane with. You guys seem so close though. Are you going to say that he was a complete stranger? He was sitting next to me during the flight. We started talking and got along well, so that's why we were together. But you got in his car and had him drive you home, didn't you? He was going home in the same direction, so he offered to drop me home. Don't just say that I'm cheating without knowing the full story. Don't you trust me? You've been leaving the house while lying to me this entire time. What am I supposed to believe? I feel bad about that, but there were times I wanted to be alone too. Is the wife not allowed to have time alone? Still, you didn't need to lie and say that Anne wasn't feeling well. Well, yeah, but it was hard to tell you because you're always working so hard. You might find it suspicious that I'm going on solo trips too. I'd rather you've told me the truth in the beginning. I'm sorry. Forget about it. I understand. Aaron, are you going to forgive me? This means that you're going to believe me, right? No, I'm astounded that you're going through this much effort to hide your infidelity. I followed the man even after he dropped you off at home. What? There's no way I just let him leave. I went up to him after he got out of the car. I asked him what he was doing with my wife. He got down on his knees and admitted what he was doing. The guy you were cheating on me with is more commendable than you. What? You spoke to him? Yeah. He let me take pictures of his messages with you as well as his ID as evidence. He lives with his parents, so he probably didn't want them to find out. We were in front of his house, after all. Aaron, I'm sorry. Are you going to admit it now? Yes, but I'm not serious about him. We were both doing this casually, and it wasn't like we were looking for anything more. Oh, so it's okay to have an affair if it's a casual relationship. It's not an affair. It's just like having a little bit of fun on the side. You're married. If you were having an affair, it's considered infidelity. I'm sorry. Please, anything but a divorce. I'm honestly so happy that I got married to you, Aaron. Then why did you have an affair? It was because you were unsatisfied with me, right? It's not that. I was just messing around on dating apps. I just happened to find someone I got along well with. Dating apps? You were planning on seeing other men in the first place, then? It's not like that. I was just curious. Yeah, so you were interested in finding other men, right? I'm so sorry. I won't ever do it again. I'll delete all my dating apps and won't see that guy ever again. You can see him if you want. We're getting divorced anyway. No, no, no. Please don't say that. I don't want to get a divorce. Then you shouldn't have had an affair. I thought over everything these past two days. There was a part of me that wanted to believe that you were actually on a solo trip. But when I looked at your credit card spendings, I saw that the bill for meals wasn't the price you would have for one person. And the hotel room wasn't for a single person either. My life was complete hell during those two days. Aaron, I'm so sorry. So even after I found out about your life, you were smiling while walking next to that man at the airport. Lovey-dovey and all. I can't believe a single thing you say after that. Aaron, I'll change. I won't do something to betray you ever again. I was stupid. So please give me another chance. You can't completely fix something that's been broken. There are people that can forget about things like this after a while, but how long do you think it's going to take for that to happen? My life is going to be complete hell until then. I'll be constantly reminded about the fact that you had an affair just by being next to you. I'll do my best so you don't have to think that way. It's too late now. 
Being with you is only going to stress me out. My heart isn't big enough to forgive you for having an affair. Besides, you've been away since Anne was around six months pregnant. You were having this affair for almost six months. What do you mean it was casual? You've been with him a bunch of times, haven't you? I honestly truly won't ever hurt you again. You can say whatever you want to me, but please give me a chance to fix my mistake. Do that on your own. Don't involve me in this mess. Didn't you say you wanted some time alone? You'll get a bunch of time alone after the divorce. Because I don't plan on being together with you ever again. The divorce from my wife wasn't easy. Thankfully, Anne and my parents-in-law took my side, so I was able to successfully file the divorce. It seems like her relationship with the man she was having an affair with was really just casual. So the moment I got involved, he stopped contacting my wife immediately. I'm receiving compensation fees for infidelity from him in exchange for not contacting his parents about the entire thing. As for my wife, I offset the compensation fees with the division of property. Because of that, my wife had to leave the house without complaining. Apparently, her parents told her not to come home, too. When she left, she was crying because she had no home or anyone to depend on. I'm not sure where she's living right now, and I honestly don't think I want to know either. I have no complaints as long as she never shows up in front of my face again. I moved out of the house we lived in after that and spent a while in a daze. I had no energy to do anything. Honestly, I had no motivation to live. But Anne worried about me and came to my house often with her newborn baby. I honestly didn't want her to come over at first, but the power of a baby is incredible. Seeing the little girl made me start smiling more and more. Right now, I act like a real uncle and am completely obsessed with my niece. We're not related by blood, but my niece was my savior for my depression. My wife and I aren't connected anymore, but I appreciate my ex-sister-in-law for letting me experience what a welcoming family feels like. There are still moments when I remember the pain, but I want to work hard to slowly move forward with my life.